Thank you for joining us. My name is Jay Clifford, a developer advocate for Influx Data. I am here with Paul, our CTO and creator of InfluxDB. Thank you for joining us, Paul. Thanks, Jay. So we had a couple of topics to discuss. Um, one of them today is the FDAP overview. Um, we recently candid the, the FDAP stack, and I kind of wanted you to sort of take us through exactly what the FDAP stack is and the technologies that are involved in that. Yeah, so FDAP is obviously an acronym for four different technologies that we use to build InfluxDB 3.0. So F is for flight, specifically Apache Arrow Flight, which is a network protocol for transferring large amounts of data. D is for data fusion, which is a query engine written in Rust that's a subproject of Apache Arrow. A is Apache Arrow itself. And P is Parquet, which is a store a file format for storing compressed, columnar, and structured and nested data. And so what was your thought process about taking these sort of key technologies and, and incorporating them into your sort of build of 3.0? Sort of why, why do they benefit uh, us um, in, in creating InfluxDB? Yeah, so this is a thesis we had over three and a half years ago. At this point, you know, some of those projects were actually quite nascent. Arrow came out in 2016. But Data Fusion had just joined the Arrow project less than a year prior than that. Um, Flight had just been uh, created initially in the fall of 2019, I think, right? Uh, and we made the decision basically in early 2020, we started the development of 3.0 mm -hmm. as a research project to determine what tools we could use in you know, 2020 to build a more modern version of InfluxDB. And we made the bet by probably around the summer of 2020 that these technologies and these systems would be kind of the building blocks that not only us, but other people would use to build analytic systems of all kinds, big data systems, real-time analytics, and for us specifically time series. And, and so you just touched on it there, and I was hoping you could sort of elaborate a little bit. So, you know, we, we've candid this, you know, for 3.0, but you sort of say it's, it impacts big data in general. What do you see people doing with the FDAP stack, you know, in the open source community and, and that sort of big data group at large? Where do you see the stack going for a, a lot of developers? Yeah, so Arrow was built initially as base, it's in-memory format for columnar data, and it was built specifically for data scientists to share data, like large amounts of data, cheaply between different data stacks, different data systems. And then those other pieces kind of came together, Flight for the network protocol, Parquet for the file persistence format, and Data Fusion for actually querying that data. Those pieces came together as basically a way to have an open platform to build real-time analytic systems, big data systems, where you can actually share data more freely and cheaply between different systems. So you can take it, you know, files in, in object storage and put them into Spark for processing or Snowflake for big data warehousing or InfluxDB for time series. And what we've seen over the last three and a half years is we've been, you know, also not just taking these technologies and developing 3.0, but also contributing to them ourselves is other companies, both large and small, are starting to pick them up and to build their own systems on top of it. So we've seen a number of startups that are doing that. We see large corporations that are building internal tools for their own analytics needs. And they're using these things as basically building blocks to build more complex systems. So it's essentially creating a, a standard or open data plane where everyone has that sort of same level of understanding in terms of being able to create analytical applications, being able to create storage engines and so forth. Yeah, exactly. I mean, basically what people want to avoid is having these individual data islands where they can't access the data and use it in other tools, right? People want to have best of breed, like best in class tools for individual things, but to be able to share the data freely across all of these different platforms. And really that's what FDAP enables. It makes it so that you can use these different platforms, but still use the data and transfer it easily from one to another. Love it. Well, Paul, thank you for joining us. So we want to know what you're building with 3.0. Uh, we hope to see you next time.